Hey, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Elizabeth and I share my personal style, my love for easy beauty, I share reviews, I share vlogs, and I also share organization videos. So thank you so much for clicking this video. I hope it brings you that much needed inspiration and motivation to get organized. I needed this video, so I figured while I was organizing, I would film it and hopefully it is that inspiration you need because the way I was organizing my jewelry was so bad. I have shared an organization video from a couple years ago, but I have I've since moved into my own apartment. I'm excited to share the new system and the new way I'm organizing my jewelry. So I will be taking you guys through the entire process, showing you guys how much of an organized mess my jewelry was. It was all over the place. I was being super lazy with it. I did take some time to go ahead and organize all my pieces and it feels so good and it looks so good. I'm so excited to bring you through this process. I will be sure to link everything I use below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. It would mean the world to me so I can continue sharing videos that motivate you or just inform you about products because I love sharing my thoughts on things. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, you guys, I told you my dresser was an organized mess. It looks so bad. This is why I'm dedicating a video to organizing my jewelry because the last few months it's been like this. Like I love this little corner for grabbing my everyday jewelry. This base little jewelry box has become my everyday jewelry case, which I love because I literally just close it and go when I'm traveling and it fits nicely in the hanging caddy, which is great. Um, I love this butterfly catch all, but as you can see, such a mess. These boxes are new pieces of jewelry as well mixed with like my everyday favorites like these Love AJ Pave hoops. Um, but it's so bad. These are new pieces that I got. I'm, I'm so obsessed. Clip balls are having a moment. I thrifted these up in Reno a few weeks ago. And then this is another little travel case that I love. So I love having a jewelry box here. That's something I know for sure. Um, I just don't like how it's just like my travel ones. So I definitely wanna find a jewelry box that I can leave here daily, you know, just have my pieces organized, but this isn't working for me. So my before, and this is like the daily stuff. And then I have one more spot that I store jewelry that we really need to overhaul. Here's another messy corner that I have some jewelry, um, necklaces that I love. I don't wear these pieces often, but I do grab them when I wanna rock them. Um, but these are just like archival pieces that I love. Like I still have this puka shell Roxy necklace that I've had since sixth grade. Um, but just like sentimental pieces. I'm definitely not a hoarder. I'm definitely thoughtful with what I keep. What's the point of getting rid of it if I'm probably gonna buy it again, you know, but like, I love this Christian Dior choker that I've had since like fourth grade. My dad got it for me from the Christian Dior outlet, or I think it was like fifth grade or sixth grade. Or no, actually I lie. I was like 14. I was like a freshman in high school, which is one of my favorite little chokers. But this thing is not the most ideal way to organize my jewelry. And here's another catch-all. So we're gonna pull everything out. Last but not least, this is an Ikea drawer. It goes into a closet system that we use. And this is where I pretty much store everything. But as you can see, it's become a mess. This is that Bay's hanging jewelry organizer that still has jewelry in here, you guys. Unbelievable, I can't believe I didn't unpack it. Um, but it rolls. And then this is where that little Bay's jewelry box fits so perfectly. Love this thing, it stores a lot. It's definitely bulky but I do love it and you can hang it. Um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, sunglasses in here. <laughs> um, so as you can see, it's quite the mess, so. All right, let's do a haul. So I went to the container store to buy these organizing trays. I have affordable ones from Amazon, which are right here. They're a lot bigger. These are a lot smaller. The pro to these is I can actually stack them and get a lid and they can become a jewelry box. So when I move out of this apartment, I could easily transport, use it as a jewelry box, but also restore them in a drawer. I find trays with extra sections just the best way to organize my jewelry. I like little ring inserts. I like being able to see everything. Because when I see it, I will use it. Bought a bunch of these. The 
Amazon ones are way more affordable. These were expensive. The off chance that I need to use them for storage, you know, I thought that would be great. And then they also have these acrylic lids. I didn't buy a bunch of them. I just bought a couple to kind of see if I like how they are in the drawer. Love the container store because I can return what I'm not going to use. Um, I picked up the expandable drawer option because maybe this is a better option. I'm not too sure but I did pick up a larger version of the tray, which is like that one. Yeah, to test it out. So we shall see. That is everything I bought from the container store. Um, I also bought this jewelry box for my dresser because you guys saw I have all these little boxes and trays of jewelry. I just don't love it. And I thought this was more chic, more my room vibe. So I picked this up. I love that it has a little tray in here. Again, another way to contain smaller pieces. And then it has dividers in here, which is great. So, but yeah, there's my little mini haul. Now let's get to organizing. All right, so I pulled out all the jewelry, cleaned out the drawer, and now I'm gonna see what fits and like what I like. But yeah, this is how it's gonna look, which is super nice. So I'm very excited about that. Totally remembered I got these expandable stackers. So if this expands to the end, that could be great. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it doesn't expand all the way. I don't want it floating, so I'm gonna return these, but I'm glad I got them so I could see. Quite easy to use. Super cute, right? in here because I have been detangling necklaces for a hot minute and then I remembered my best friend shared this tip with me years ago because her dad's a fine jeweler you get a safety pin like from the point gonna stop the little knot separate it and then voila now this one is detangled it's wild how like the chain nicely separates all right so that is separated all right, you guys, I'm super excited. I actually figured out a way to have all of the trays hit edge to edge, corner to corner. I combined the little trays with the expandable trays, which is actually perfect because now I could store my nicer necklaces like this. So they don't get tangled because it was so annoying untangling them. But I'm very excited. So now it's time to transfer all of this jewelry. Everything's organized, paired into here. gosh you guys I just finished looks so freaking beautiful I will be sure to go over everything with you guys so you can see but here's a little quick sneak peek all I have to do is organize my jewelry but I need to find a better way to organize all the necklaces and all my earrings bracelets rings everything's contained and it looks so gorgeous so excited okay now let's figure out the necklace situation for now all of my necklaces are right here which I love. Um, it was so cool finding old pieces that I haven't worn in a minute. I think I might need to get another one of these because it's just all bunched. So yeah, this is just the residual jewelry. We'll get to even more organizing and putting everything away. Pretty happy with how this looks. It looks so good. And these are other pieces I need to go through. We're almost done.
guys. So this is where I placed all the stackers and jewelry organizers. This is an Ikea system that we've had that my boyfriend and I use. This is how he organizes his clothes. I stole this drawer for all my jewelry. He was totally fine with it. I think it looks so great. I love that everything is in one place. It's only gonna help me get more inspired to grab and style all these different pieces. I have so many amazing pieces that I wasn't even grabbing and I hate that. And I just am really impressed with these stackers. I love these expandable ones, so I highly recommend those. And I'm really impressed with these little Amazon necklace organizers. They weren't impulse buy, but it works for me right now because I was getting tired of the jewelry tree organizer. I really like this. I will link everything below. It was expensive and I did have the affordable Amazon ones, but for some reason they just like weren't it for me. It didn't stack well for me. So I just went ahead and invested in these and I love that it's very customizable. I can get a lid in the future. Everything's gonna stack nicely. Very happy with this. I love that all my necklaces are visible and I can grab whatever. All my earrings have a little home. It just looks so good to me. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got that extra inspiration and motivation to organize your jewelry was worth the effort and the time that I spent organizing this drawer. And I love that I'm actually wearing more of my pieces. I hadn't been wearing them. I just wasn't inspired to grab anything. It was just such a mess. So thanks again for watching. Again, hope you give this video a thumbs up. I will link everything below and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.